Keeping an eye on your health, January is Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. According to the World Health Organization, cervical cancer is the fourth most frequent cancer in women, but 92% recover when the cancer is detected early. So it is a good reminder for women to get an annual checkup. Current guidelines recommend women ages 21 to 64 should get checked for cervical cancer every three to five years with a pap test and or an HPV test. And joining me now is Dr. Allison Staley from Rocky Mountain Gynecological Oncology. So thanks so much for taking the time out today to talk with us. First off, what are the signs and symptoms of cervical cancer? Yeah, thanks for having me, Michelle. So in fact, some of these cancers, when they're really early, you actually may not have any symptoms at all. And that's where having pap smear tests, HPV test screening is gonna be really important to detect those asymptomatic cancers that are very early. For those that are advanced, vaginal bleeding and abnormal discharge uh, can be some of the symptoms as well as pain. Who's more at risk of getting cervical cancer? And can you talk a bit about prevention? Absolutely. So people who don't get screenings, who don't get vaccinated, they are going to be at higher risk of developing cancer. People who use tobacco products, who smoke, um, they are going to be at higher risk. And individuals who are immunocompromised, whether that's from a particular disease process or medications that they use chronically, they actually need to be screened more frequently than the average woman because of that. And some may not know how treatable cervical cancer is. What are some of the treatments out there? Yeah, absolutely. So I think first thing is actually preventing it. The HPV vaccine has been on the market now for many years since the early 2000s and can actually protect people against the nine different strains of HPV. Um, that is something that should be given early to children who are nine to 11 years old to have the best effect. And as you said, getting screening done starting at the age of 21 for women, regardless of vaccination status. Now, if we catch cancers early, if they occur, surgery can be an option, but past that point. Typically, we're talking about chemotherapy and radiation treatment for women. Yeah, this is all good information to know. Is there anything else we should be letting our viewers know about cervical cancer? Absolutely. Get vaccinated, get your children vaccinated, and please go in and get screened. This is a disease that we can prevent. Dr. Staley, thanks so much for talking with us today. Thank you so much. Take care. All right, you too. And remember, you can watch all of our health interviews right now on CBSColorado.com.